Hi, everybody. It's me, Tina Z. Your favorite gender non-conforming ukulelist and vocalist. How are you? I'm fine. It's been a while, I know. Um, not that I'm counting, but I, I'm not counting because I don't know for sure. But I think it's been about uh, seven weeks since I've performed a song for y'all. So, yes, I missed you too. So today I'm doing... Um, I'm doing Overkill by Men at Work. Men at Work, if you don't know, if you're young. Gosh, my hair hat. It's all goofy. Sorry. Hold on. There. Ha! Um, I was saying... Oh, Men at Work. Uh, yes. Um, so they were very, very popular, very big uh, Australian band. Um, in the 1980s, they were... Uh, at their peak, and um, the song is written by Colin Hay, who is the uh, was the lead singer of Men at Work. I don't think they exist anymore. They might be touring. You know, all those old bands get together and tour now. That's the thing. Anyway, so it's a great song. Uh, I believe it came out in 83. It was released in 1983. Men at Work released it in 1983. So, uh, as a child of the 80s, it brought back a lot of neat memories for me from the 1980s. Uh, you know, like Rubik's Cube, <laughs> Max Headroom, um, what else do we have from the 80s? That was about it. Oh, big hair, really big hair, yay! And um, Dynasty, so Dynasty, who were you? Were you, um, what was her name, Linda Evans or, or Joan Collins? Which girl were you? <laughs> I know who I was. <laughs> um, so, speaking of that, um, uh, in the uh, early 1980s, uh, Tootsie came out, the movie Tootsie, and um, um, it had this, this scene, I can't show you the scene, I'll show you a still from the scene, ta-da, <laughs> yes, as a uh, youngster, I think Tootsie came out, hold on, I'm going to check that, <laughs> they released Tootsie to theaters in 1982, so um, I was uh, a mere child of 11, 11 years old, and so that, this, <laughs> Gina Davis, um, stirred very uh, new and wonderful feelings <laughs> in me. But anyway, uh, about the movie itself, I think um, this was the first time where uh, Hollywood showed a um, gender non-conforming, let's say that, gender non-conforming character, and it wasn't constantly the butt of jokes. Hollywood likes to, um, whenever they dress a man in woman's clothing, uh, it is for laughs. It's big ha-ha-ha. Um, Tootsie, I think, was the first time where it wasn't that way. Are you kidding me? Um, of course, they did make some obvious jokes, because you have to, but uh, overall the message was, um, I think at the end of it, Dustin Hoffman says, uh, talking to uh, his love interest, Jessica Lang, and he says, talking about while he was in his female mode, um, I forget the line, I was a better, <laughs> I should just look it up, hold on, yay! <laughs> I found it. So, um, the quote is, uh, Dustin Hoffman's character says to uh, Jessica Lang, his love interest, he says, uh, you don't know me from Adam, but I was a better, I was a better man with you as a woman than I ever was with a woman as a man. <laughs> so, what does that mean? That means that the, um, the presenting female allowed his character, Dustin Hoffman's character, to, uh, uh, to fully, to fully ex exhibit, to be the full person that he is, for the first time. It, it, uh, there was some discovery there about who he was, and um, dressing up allowed him to do that. So. I connected with that. <laughs> that was a long way around for one little message, wasn't it? Yay! Okay, so anyway, here's the song. It's called Overkill, and it's by Men at Work. <laughs> I'll be like, bye! See you in a second.
Bye-bye. Bye.